Hello everyone, good to see you there. I appreciate you. I see you there, Marissa and Tom and Eduardo. No, I'm not reading chat, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is a video, crazy. But this is also Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge where we are actually taking a lovely journey through uh, Photoshop, as you can see behind me. And we're gonna dive into, and actually I'll share my screen, into the daily creative challenge. Behance.net forward slash challenge forward slash Photoshop. Scrolling down right over here. Screen print is what we're gonna be doing. Posterizing an image, adding halftone colors, filters. Gonna make basically a photo look cool. More specific than that, we're gonna create a composite. So you can get started by clicking right there, opening up that file in Photoshop and now we can begin, okay? This file ha actually has three different layers. We're gonna first, very quickly, we're gonna make the composite, and then we're gonna start applying these fun halftone effects, screen printing type effects to it. So first thing we need to do with this top layer right here, this horse layer, come right over here to the properties panel, click remove background. Bam, bam, there it is. My timing was off, but it worked nonetheless. Same thing for this suit right here, remove background. Bam, remove the background. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna place this horse's head on top of this guy. I noticed, and you will notice, that it might not get everything, so right up here. Selecting this layer mask right over here, okay? Hitting B for brush, making sure black is in the foreground, and then I can just kinda paint that out, right? So you can kinda refine that if you need to. Next thing I'm gonna do is I really, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how you can have two layer masks on one layer. And what you can do there is you can actually right click and convert your layer to a smart object. See that right there? Convert it to a smart object. Layer mask goes away, it really didn't go away. Um, but then I can come down here to the very bottom, hopefully you can see that, adding a layer mask, boom, right there, done, right there, okay? So now this allows me to uh, actually do the same to this suit potentially is what I might want to do. Might not need to, but uh, essentially what I want to do is I just kind of want to get rid of his head so it doesn't get in the way. So just paint with black and remove that like so, right? So just doing something kind of like that. Here's our horse layer. It's a smart object, means I can resize it, I can rotate it, I can have some fun with it, and I can paint on this mask as well. So I might come in maybe with my selection tool. Use whichever one you want, whether it's the brush or your lasso tool, just depends on how exact you are, how steady your hand is. Mine might not be too steady, but not to worry. We'll fill it with black, we will adjust accordingly. So right over here, boop. Moving that right in here, and then just having fun, hitting B for brush, and that painting, right, like so. Just doing some of this. That is good enough. I won't worry about getting the insides of some of these parts. We could always clean that up later, because now I'm gonna dive into Doing my screen printing effect. Now that we have our cool image, I just want this like fancy guy hanging out right here, okay? So we could do that a couple different ways. I'm gonna show you, uh, yeah, probably three different ways. The first way is gonna be using adjustment layers. So for this background, for instance, I can click right down here to add an adjustment layer right on this icon right here, and we can add a gradient map. So this is gonna give it that nice halftone effect. Notice how it creates the gradient map right up here. The reason you don't, you might not have all of yours, uh, all these gradients, just go to the gradient panel. Again, bonus material here because in the gradients, look at that. Uh, import uh, gradients, but also legacy gradients right over here. That's how you bring in these photographic toning, for instance, and all of these. So really like stack up that gradients panel. It'll be worth it. And then you'll have all of these that you go through and click just to get a cool effect. Sometimes it will look like they need to be inverted. And guess what? You can do that right up here. We can reverse it. Okay, so this looks more like a screen printing effect, uh, or excuse me, like a halftone effect that I want, all using the gradient map. So I can go up here to the second one, doing the same process. We will do this three times, um, maybe picking this one and making sure it's clipped. That's one thing you need to keep in mind for this second one. 
if you right click on that layer, create clipping mask, bam, it will now just affect the suit. And here's a situation where I need to reverse it, right? So we're just giving it this fun halftone look across all three of these. Gradient map again, option key, ready? Option key or alt key uh, if you're on a uh, PC. And then I can hover over those two lines, clip it just like that. And now that layer just affects that one. We can reverse it, right? And even pick a different color. Key thing when you're picking these gradient maps, you wanna make sure that you have some color unity uh, at the end of the day. Like, if there's no black in part of it, maybe there needs to be black. But you can also tighten this up more by editing the gradients. Right in here, we'll click right here. We'll add like so. We'll add a little bit of yellow actually to get a nice highlight in there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we have at least a fun initial look for what we're doing right in here. Oops. Kind of into this. I can play with this all day long, by the way. Oh yeah, that looks good. I, I wanted that suit to pop more and that looks pretty good. Right, so have fun adding those gradients, doing what you want. Uh, from there, you can always export out this JPEG and you have like a, um, half tone effect. So here's my screen print final. You can save out that JPEG and post it. So that's pretty cool, right? We can go beyond that as well. Let's take all of these layers and guess what? You can take everything and convert it to a smart object. Select all those layers, convert to a smart object. Bam, there it is. And now we have our fun, uh, like half tone screen print. Well, it's actually a half tone effect right in here that we can play with, right? Now let's go into, we're gonna do two more things. You ready for this? That was the first thing. We created this duotone look. Now we can go into filter and in the filter gallery, I feel like turning this off as well. The filter gallery actually has a half tone pattern. So right in here, here's this half tone pattern. Sorry, I already have it turned on, but it actually kind of selects your default, um, whatever your default was. Right, so whether it's colored pencil, whatever the case may be, you want to go down in here to sketch and select halftone pattern. And off to the side, we can adjust the size of those dots. Right, what this halftone pattern does is it inverts the image. So just be aware of that. We might want to invert it again just to get rid of this bizarre look. Right, but we can play with the contrast, we can play with the size of these dots. Right, we can even change it from dots to lines, right? And then even to circles as well, which is just one circle. We'll keep it uh, uh, with dots, we'll click OK. If you wanna invert this back, right down here, it's an adjustment layer, you can invert it back, okay? And then do a bunch of color correction here, because right now I need, to in, I need to like start shifting the colors. Like if you wanted to shift the colors, go into hue and saturation, you know, and from here we can drag that to the other side. And now we've like sort of thrown this uh, color spot on the other side of the color wheel, if you will, right? So there's number two, right? Now let's do number three. By the way, I can export this out, feel free. Post that as well, but let's go ahead and command J just to jump this smart object, and let's just get rid of that. So we're back to our original, okay? Now we're gonna do another dot pattern. So filter, we have our filter gallery. This is the dot pattern I think is really cool. Going down to pixel, pixelate color halftone. So it's that um, more or, gosh, what's the other word? It's a more pattern is what it is. Uh, that we're making. But what this does is this simulates uh, CMYK, basically CMY, we're gonna see cyan, magenta, and yellow circles, right? Uh, we're defining the max radius. Yours might only say 10. 10 might be too small. I'm gonna crank this up to 60 just so you can see it in full effect. I'm not gonna worry about the screen angles. Click OK, and that's what I mean. This is what I mean by a dot pattern, a moray pattern, right? we get this, obviously too intense. Let's go back to filter, 
go into uh, color half tone again and drop this down to like 30. We're gonna cut that in half, click OK, and this is my life, is just playing with this typically to go into color half tone and, and changing these. We'll drop it down to 20 and then we have that pattern. But notice how it's different depending on how, um, how small the image is. So it looks better smaller and that I need to be aware of if I'm gonna post this to Instagram or something, right? So again, I just wanna be aware of that size. The cool thing is I could turn that off as well. So on and then off, okay? We still have that other effect there. By the way, we could even blend this with the original image. So underneath it, underneath it we have this image. We put the half tone on top, okay? And now we have control over the half tone. Maybe we want to drop down the opacity and have more of that image show through. That works out really well. Another thing you could do is go through the different layer blend modes, right? So we could change this from your darker colors affecting it, your lighter colors, and then you can get into like overlay and soft light. Okay, so this is looking ridiculous. I just think it's funny what, it's funny what we're doing today, isn't it? This is crazy guy, right? So it kind of gives it the look of like a, like a, a tabloid, a printed tabloid about this horseman that's walking around uh, in uh, downtown London in the 60s. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, it's fun, it's weird. Hopefully I showed you different ways of affecting a composite, not only making a composite, affecting it uh, essentially multiple ways like I did here. This first way using, <coughs> excuse me, adjustment layers. Second way is uh, basically applying a filter gallery. And then the third way is actually using this right over here, the color halftone effect as well, which I'm kind of leaning forward, leaning toward as being my best one. So I will export this JPEG, screen print final two, and uh, hopefully you know what to do next because all you need to do is jump into Discord and then make sure you post it to current challenge right in here. Look forward to seeing what you make. I really appreciate you as, as people. I appreciate you just taking this journey through Photoshop and through life with me. Hopefully you guys are happy and you're doing well and you're being safe. I hope to see you guys live soon. And uh, let's chat because I'm, I'm missing you already. So thanks.